So I'd love to show you how I wrote my book, Love is the Business Plan and Other Unconventional Ideas in Notion. It was a really, uh, it was a really tough thing to decide where to actually organize this book. And what I, did, what I used essentially was Notion for the organization and writing, Apple Pages, which you will see here, for the master file. And then upon export, I did use like a little Kindle previewer, uh, but I was able to export that into Apple Books and then into a nice little mobile, uh, Mobi, that Mobi uh, format as well, so that it's uh, friendly with Kindle readers. But first things first, I want to go over this chapter structure document because it was extremely helpful in organizing my ideas. So inside Notion, what I did was essentially create a pipeline. So I'm using a board view here and it's organized by status. And you'll see this in the little template that I'm sharing with you, but it's organized by status. and It's got a little bit of a pipeline happening here. So I'll go through each column. There's no status, which is essentially like the idea dump. There's approved chapters, which is the column for chapters you know you want to include inside your book. There's in progress, which is what you're actively working on right this second. There's ready for review, which is essentially just editing. Uh, it's really ju just editing these, these chapters. That's what's happening in this column. And once you have an edited chapter that's you know finalized, you're going to take that chapter, you're going to paste it, so you're going to copy it all, and you're going to paste it into your master document here. See, I've got a whole table of contents happening here. You're going to paste into your master document. Once it's actually pasted into your master document, you're going to take that card and mark it as complete. So if something is in the complete column, that means it's actually inside your master file. Now, the way that I use Notion was uh, so for this organization, of course, but also because it's just a much easier writing experience and it was also really good for taking notes. So if, for example, I just needed you know, uh, to put down these ideas that I had for chapters, I would think to myself, okay, well, I wanna do a chapter about playing guitar. I marked that as a card here, so I hit enter, and I've got this as a card, so I know if I wanna come back to writing, I'm in my writing mode, I, I take a look and see kind of what are the ideas I'm working with right now. Oh, I've got the playing guitar idea, I'm going to go into this, and then I can either, you know, make a full view or I can just start writing my notes and things here. And so this is kind of just like a really great place for a draft. So I open it as a full page so that I've got this really nice clean slate to work with. And then, you know, I just do that with basically every single, uh, chapter that I have here or idea that I actually want to write about. So if you've got some cards here and you're like, actually, you know, I don't really want to write about playing guitar. It doesn't really fit. You just delete it or you can keep it there either way. Um, I like to keep it there, honestly, just because you might come back to it later. But if you're just like, oh, I'm not sure about it, then it's just going to stay in this column. But if you are finding yourself working with a chapter that you're like, you know what? I know this culture is better than process. I know I want to write about this more. I'm going to move this over to my approved chapters. So if it's in this approved chapters column, you know you're going to write about this, right? But there's a ton in here. Maybe you're not sure what you're going to write about yet. And then you pick a day. You've got your ass in your seat and you're like, I'm writing for the next hour. What do I want to write on? I'm going to go ahead and say, let's do the enemies or inspiration. I'm going to move that in here. This is in progress. So this means I am actively working on this chapter. So I'm going to click on it. I will write down you know, all of my notes um, and get this in kind of a place that I'm happy with. And then from here, you know, once I've really finalized that chapter, so anytime I'm kind of finalizing a chapter, it's happening here as far as the writing portion goes, then I want to edit it. And so if it's in this ready for a review column, I'm typically not looking at it till at least a day or at, you know, at minimum a few hours from when I actually wrote and finished the chapter. When it's inside this ready for review column, then I'm coming back to it with fresh eyes, taking a look at the chapter, running through it and doing a full copy edit, making sure grammar is okay, make sure it makes sense. And honestly, this is just a really great way to 
be able to understand how your chapters fit together and kind of see things from a very high level view. So remember, after you're done editing, you're going to take that, copy it, put it inside your master file, and then only once it's in your master file will you change its status over to complete. Of course, you can change the status by going here as well, complete. Um, something that I did that I found really helpful in the beginning is I would have these little callouts. And they, these for me were just ways of trying to, to remember what I wanted to share uh, socially. So if you have a snippet or something, you can use a call out. You can also use something like uh, just a text color change. So when you're going back and reviewing and you see something that's red, you can say, oh, that's something that I actually want to post on Twitter or post on, on uh, LinkedIn or something. Um, and make a graphic quote about. So that's kind of a nice little way that if, when you're going back and reviewing, you can see what you actually wanted to highlight uh, as little snippets. The next thing I did was actually organize these into categories. And I really didn't do that until I had this. So if I go into properties, you can see that my subcategory is not on quite yet. Neither is my category. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my category here. And what I did is I actually just organized my book with four categories. And this is just on the back end. So uh, the reader doesn't actually know or see these, just kind of for me. So I've got the fundamentals, the business approach, the practical application, and the personal growth. And this is, again, just so I can see, am I leaning one way or the other? Am I talking more about the entrepreneur than the business? Uh, am I talking about fundamentals? Am I talking about you know practical application exercises and prompts? Uh, and I wanted to just get a good feel and make sure that there was kind of a good mix of all of these things that I wanted to incorporate. Now, the next view after this is what happens when you are kind of working mostly off of your master file. And that is that this essential structure goes into what's called a category table. And this helps me make much more linear decisions. So I've got the category, but then I would go a little bit deeper into the subcategory here. And I would try to, you know, try to organize things uh, as close together as possible. And so you can see that as you know, you're, you're essentially refining over and over again. So as things are in your master file, in this case, all of these things you can tell because it's under complete, all of these things are already in the master file. And now that it's in the master file, maybe I want to reorganize some chapters. This is how I'm doing that. So right now I've got my categories together. Um, I've got my subcategories together and I could, you know, make some little notes here on what needs to improve. And uh, this really just helps me refine the actual master file. So one is more for ideation and then the other one is about organizing the master file. And um, even though, the, you know, at this point, once we're looking at this categories table, all of these are in here. So really what's happening is if I need to switch something around, I've got to actually copy and paste, you know, a certain chapter and move it over. Um, now, I do absolutely use this, this table of contents view. This was really, really critical. You just enable it here uh, under table of contents in, in Apple Pages, and then you should get this little sidebar. And this way you can kind of organize things. Uh, really easily. So if I need to copy this whole chapter, I can do that fairly quickly by just copying this here. And then if I were to move it over, it would still show up in my table of contents and I'd kind of be able to find it much faster. So I hope that's really helpful. And let me know if you have any questions along the way. I'm happy to, to help and just share this experience. And I hope it, it helps you with your book.